Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Welcome to another Sunday Stata tip. Today I'm going to show you how to use GMM or Generalized Method of Moments in Stata. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So first I'm going to use this auto data and I'm going to show you how to do both an OOS and an IV estimation with GMM in Stata. So first, just to sort of set the tone of what we're trying to replicate, let's just regress price on miles per gallon and let's do an IV regression of price where we instrument miles per gallon with weight. Neither of these regressions really mean anything, but I'm just trying to use them as a basic example. So you can see here we've got a miles per gallon coefficient of like 239. Here we've got an IV coefficient of negative 340. And maybe you're sort of curious both what these coefficients are if you use GMM as well as are these coefficients really different from each other? Are they statistically different from each other? And we can use GMM to help us answer that question. So first, let's just do these GMM separately, these estimations separately. So what you're gonna do with the GMM command, you're gonna put your moment condition, your main moment condition for epsilon in here. We know from econometrics that our condition, our moment condition is the fact that price minus our beta one times miles per gallon minus our beta zero is equal to zero in expectation. So that's exactly what I wrote out right here. We also know that our moment condition is that miles per gallon times our epsilon term or times this whole term is also equal to zero. GMM doesn't actually let you write that. What you have to do is you have to write this instruments option and when you put miles per gallon in here in this instruments option, what you're gonna have is state is gonna go ahead and write that second moment condition for you where they say miles per gallon times price minus beta one miles per gallon minus beta zero is equal to zero in expectation. A couple other things, I've gone, I've gone ahead and I've named this equation OLS and I've named my estimator for miles per gallon coefficient as OLS one and my estimator for the constant in this regression is OLS zero. You can specify this equation name whatever you want. You can specify this estimator whatever you want and the same for OLS zero. I'm gonna put OS and IV together, which is why I've sort of used this naming convention, but you could also call this, I don't know, OS MPG, and you could call this OS zero, and you could call this IV MPG, which I do in the second example, but again, it really doesn't matter. Now, notice that what I have here is I have this W init command. This was just a test, but I can take this out. We'll talk about the weighting matrix or the initial weighting matrix in a little bit. Reason to one step, just because I don't want to see a bunch of output for GMM, I could use two step as well. That's not going to matter, so I could take that out. Again, for this IV regression, same thing, except notice that my instrument is weight, it's not miles per gallon. If I'm doing OLS, my instrument is the same as my independent variable, but here it's not because I'm doing the IV. So I can run both of these, and, and when I run both of these, you can see I'm going to get exactly the same coefficients that I got before, which is great. And now we're ready to do the OOS and the IV simultaneously. So the way we're gonna do this simultaneously, first of all, it's gonna be a big long command. So I'm gonna use my favorite trick where I change the delimiter from carriage return or a new line to semicolon so I can write this whole command without having to worry about new lines and then just put a semicolon at the end. Now what we're gonna do, unsurprisingly, we're gonna combine these two moment conditions into one command. I can specify the instruments option twice these instruments are for the OLS moment condition, and these instruments are for the IV moment condition so that it puts them together appropriately. Here, the initial weighting matrix is gonna be unadjusted because I have moment conditions where I have the independent variable times the error term, and that expectation is equal to zero. I'm gonna say independent here. The reason I'm saying independent is because the weighting matrix for the OLS moment conditions and the IV regressions are independent. It's not like I'm running them all as four moment conditions for one set of estimators, two moment conditions for the LLS, two moment conditions for the IV, so they're independent. So I'll go ahead and run that. I'm also gonna test whether or not the coefficient on OLS miles per gallon is equal to the IV MPG. Now, just from looking at it, you can see we've got a 77. We've got, this goes from 350 to 127. This goes from negative 491 to negative 189. So I wouldn't necessarily expect that they're going to be the same. I would expect to reject this test that they're the same, but I also need to take into account that they're using the same data. So it might be kind of close. So we'll go ahead and do this. You can see that when we do this test, it's gonna be a chi-squared distribution. The p-value is 0.05. So at the 5% level, we can't actually reject that these coefficients are different. And the reason that we can't, even though it looks like we should be able to, 
is again because when you're using the GMM command, state is taking into account the fact that these OLS and these IV coefficients are coming from sort of the same place. So the bar for them to be different is going to be a little higher than just from looking at the table. So comment below if you have questions on this. I'll put this code in the comment below. But if this was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.